Since the start of the pandemic, CBS 6 has done many, many stories on the performance of Virginia's Employment Commission. When millions across the country suddenly had no work, getting benefits out to desperate claimants was a struggle for most states, including the Commonwealth. But three years later, Virginia's performance in key categories remains abysmal. Despite a change in administration 15 months ago and promises to make the VEC best in class. Here to discuss those metrics and some tips maybe is Flannery O'Rourke from the Virginia Poverty Law Center, which took part in a class action lawsuit a couple years ago to force the VEC to get those payments out faster. Flannery, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So your reaction to the Department, the Department of Labor every quarter puts out the stats on all the employment commissions across the country and ranks them. What was your reaction to the first quarter numbers that you saw uh, in the last few days? I audibly gasped. Um, I, you know, on the one hand, the numbers are shockingly uh, bad. On the other hand, uh, it's consistent with what claimants are telling me. I think it's important for folks to understand that these standards are set not only to make sure that uh, unemployment insurance claimants receive payments in a timely manner, um, but also so that unemployment insurance serves the broader goal of providing stability for the economy because if you don't get that extra fund from the benefits, maybe you can't pay your rent on time or your mortgage or pay for gas to drive to your kids to school. Domino effect. Exactly. Well, and so let's look at some of those numbers. And I, I want to point out that I reached out to Joyce Fogg. She is the spokesperson for the Virginia Employment Commission, asking her about these new numbers and asking her also about what Commissioner Kerry Roth told me last summer in a sit down interview that she wanted to make the VEC best in class. So you might hear that phrase quite a bit. Let's take a look first at the numbers for getting that initial payment out. The DOL, Department of Labor, says you should get at least 87% of your claims out within a 14 to 21 day window. Virginia ranks dead last in that category. We're 51st because they also include Virgin Islands. So we are after the Virgin Islands. 29 point, less than 30% when the average is 70%. Flannery, what do you make of that, that it takes so much time to even get your first payment. You know, we've observed that, and when you think about one of the most stressful times in life is right when you become unemployed and you've applied for unemployment, and you're counting on not just that decision, finding that you are entitled to benefits, but you're counting on that first payment. And so when it takes longer than um, it should to show up, that can be really harmful, and I think also very stressful to claimants. And I think the thing to point out with that number is, it's not so different from a year ago and it's actually lower than any quarter for 2021. So it's moving in the wrong direction. And I think so many people are shocked that Virginia lags all these other states when we sort of have touted ourselves as kind of a high tech state. Let's look at this other metric. This is how long it takes to get your appeal heard. So if the VEC denies your claim, says, nope, you don't get money, you file an appeal. This is breathtaking because now these numbers from top to bottom, that's the worst to the second worst there is Virginia at 427 days behind only Alabama. A month or three months ago, last quarter, it was 362 days. Terrible. It got worse in the last quarter. What do you make of that? You know, it got dramatically worse. And so now folks are waiting on average 14 months for an appeal hearing. And once they get that appeal hearing, to be clear, they don't immediately get a decision, then they wait longer for the appeal decision. And then if they are found to be entitled to benefits, they are waiting even longer to then get the payment that they are entitled to. And think about it, unemployment insurance, you need those payments now. And so for the folks that are entitled to the benefits, the idea that they are then waiting 14 months to even get a hearing on the topic, is just, uh, it, it's appalling. Well, Flannery, we are going to have you back regularly. I'll tell the folks at home, we're going to try to get Flannery on at least once a month to have a regular segment here. So next time we're going to talk about why it is, what they need, and maybe some tips for the folks at home who have to navigate the system. So we're going to put all of this information on our website tonight. Flannery O'Rourke from the Virginia Poverty Law Center, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Let's